Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from iOS Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you CamFind, which is pretty much a camera based search engine for your iPhone. Now, if you guys have heard of Google Goggles, um, pretty much you can take a picture of an item or a product or a barcode, and Google will search for it in its database and then give you the relevant information. Now, that's not actually available on um, iPhones or iOS devices. So CamFind is kind of an alternative, but I actually found it to be a lot better than um, Google Goggles. So again, it's called CamFind. Um, it works with barcodes, QR codes, and of course, just random images. So when you first open the app, it'll actually take you to a tutorial, which I'll show you guys right here. Um, and the tutorial shows you exactly what you can do. So if you want to access it, you can see what I'm doing right now. You can go right here to tutorial, cancel that, tutorial, and then it'll give you a little walkthrough of what pictures you can take. Um, you can take pictures of posters and it'll give you trailer. You can take pictures of landmarks or restaurants, menus, and of course, regular shopping items. As so. so just for an example, I'll show you guys one thing. I'll take a picture of these mini keys or mini key. So of course, to take a picture, you're just going to snap the picture or the camera icon right here. It will snap. And then once you can see that it turns gray, then it says sending an image. So it's sending this image, identifying, and once it identifies, it'll give you the relevant information for whatever you took a picture of. Now this is just a Mini Cooper key, nothing special, but I'm going to actually give you some relevant information on what I just searched for. So you see right there, it says Black Mini Cooper key. Um, and then the search results will pop up. And from those search results, I can buy a mini right here, or can just get key replacements. As you see, these are all links for key replacement, keyless remotes, etc. Just based off of that one picture that I took. So it's also pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have to be something as specific as that. You can have a tangerine right here, I can take a picture of that, just go back into the app, of course, it'll load up, bring it back out here, I'll snap this photo, move this out the way, and it will send the image, so as it's sending the image, it'll identify, sometimes this takes longer than usual, I mean not longer than usual, sometimes it takes maybe five seconds or so. So again, it says fruit orange. It's close, it's a tangerine, but of course, I don't know how impressive the computer processing would be if it could tell a tangerine from an orange. And then you can see I get images as well as where to buy oranges, flowers.com, Wikipedia page for oranges. So that's pretty much how it works. It works for barcodes, so if you want to compare prices as well, you can just take a picture of a barcode and it'll give you the relevant information from Amazon or store closer to you. So when you first install it, you can also add your, your location. Now, for other features, right here, if you just click on this, this will bring up your history. And you just tap that right there. And it'll bring up your the history of all the photos that you've taken. See, so I've taken a whole bunch right here. And of course, you can just click on one of them and it'll bring that photo up. You can hit clear right here to clear it. If you just tap on the history button again, or the clock icon, it'll go away. Um, again, if you hit the menu button, which is these three vertical dots, you can turn off voice. So when you search, you can the, the app actually says what you searched for, what the result was. You can turn that off by tapping on voice. You can also vo voice search. So if I tap this, it'll search for cheeseburgers. And now, once I stop talking, it'll actually search for it. You don't need to say search for cheeseburgers. You can just say cheeseburgers, and it'll search for it. Apparently, I'm pretty hungry, so... Yeah, see, it took in everything that I said. But it still brought up some cheeseburgers and big cheese, so it'll search large cheeseburger. But, um, of course, with any voice um, searching, there are setbacks, and you have to be pretty um, precise with what you're saying. Just head back into the app. Again, if you click on this, you can see the other options. If you tap on this, you can change the language, so your search results will be in 
your chosen language. It's actually pretty um, impressive the, the, the list of languages it has. You can see that right there. Just go back and then lastly of course is the information on the app where you can access the tutorial, see the frequently asked questions, send a message, terms of service and all that. So it's actually just it's a really cool app. Again I'll, I'll take another picture. This is a cool book here. Just zoom out. Depends on and the angle is also not as important as you would think, it just as long as it gets the gist of what you're searching for. Of course, you can't see the full book. This is a book, but it'll search for what it has. And then once it finds those results, it'll either take in just the title or the actual image or whatever it can find to give you pertinent results in its little search engine. So after it searches a little bit more, I'll show you those results. So. It's a really cool app. Um, I've been taking pictures of a bunch of things. You can take a picture of a car. See, there you go. So, just by looking at the title, um, it found the book, and then it'll give me links. There's images of the book where I can buy it on Amazon. Um, but, like I said before, you can take pictures of a pencil, you can take pictures of a car, you can take pictures of a poster, and depending on what you take a picture of, it'll either give you movie results or movie times, or obviously Office Depot if you take a picture of a pen and things like that. So it's just a fun way to search for things. You can use voice, of course, and instead of typing it in your browser or on your phone, this is a, a lot more fun to do and mess around with. So make sure to check that out for yourself. Um, it's free in the App Store. And make sure to check out the full tutorial if you want some more information and some more screenshots of other things that I tested out. Um, so thanks for watching this video, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.